My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. What's up, Rock Boy? Jim, Rocky, my old nickname, thank you. Uh, Nice little weekend. Took Noodle on two trains, we swam, we lived, we loved. Two trains? Yeah, subway and then the Long Island Railroad. Let's get into the baseball, the sports. You nailed it, Jim. Uh, And we're focusing on Fernando Tatis, because he gave us not one, not two, but three, well, two real highlights. Uh, one, a no-look throw, rarely seen in baseball, and I'd like to see more of it, because boy, if that goes wrong. Not necessary. And then he does a little league running performance, but he's a major leaguer, and it's... The no-look throw is nice. It's nice. He comes up like he's firing the second to hold the runner to a single, but no, he's firing home to first you're out well if it didn't uh get caught maybe it would have trickled home could have he considers first base home on a play like that what about the base running i don't know it's really cool right it's but really it's, cool but it's it's not advised he slides into second and the ball hits his foot and he actually kind of like not on purpose but kicks it into the outfield by the time he gets to third base wander franco has the ball now i don't know if he turned around and didn't see the ball on the ground so didn't know, or he turned around and saw Wander with the ball and was like, fuck it, I'm I'm running anyway. Like a really ill advice. If he gets thrown out there, we are crushing him. Yes. But I, it's a bad throw by Wander because you put pressure on the defense. It's electric all the same. He turns and looks, and I think if the ball was in the air on the way to home plate, he's not going. Yes. But because it wasn't, he was like, screw it. I'm probably fast enough. And he's kind of right. And then he doesn't slide. Because why would you? Just going to slow him down, get him dirty. It's true. Slide slow you down. No, that's true. A lot of people are just kind of over doubting you. Mona Lisa Vito. That's what he was just doing. I watched a little My Cousin Vinny this weekend. I knew it. Yeah. I mean, I know when you're doing your Mona Lisa Vito. It's my Miss Vito. Jim, what was this almost a breakdown you've been telling the people about? But first, some rocks AMR, ASMR. Kangaroo fights hot in the streets. This uh, American guy is visiting people in Australia, and the kangaroo was getting frisky mm. with a woman. With his lady. And I don't know if it was his lady. I think it was just a woman. My dad was just trying to make sure that the kangaroo stopped getting frisky with that lady, said the daughter. So I think it wasn't a relative or anyone that he knows. Anyway, they fight for a while. This kangaroo, this baby kangaroo keeps it's coming at him. Little at one point, somewhere. he finds his way to the Rue's neck yeah. and then just starts pushing him back. He's I, got the reach on. I like that he had the reach on him. The kangaroo looked like a little kid. I like that one point the other guy comes in and helps and they're both holding the kangaroo's front Yeah, and then he kicks him with the others. I think that kangaroo was, was uh, messing with him. I think he could beat him up if he wanted to. Ooh, that's a great question because he's he's a Joey. He's not a, you know, he's not a Chandler. That, like, I, I don't know. I think if he was a full-size Rue, I think he'd bring the noise. I, I think that kind of looks like a little kid fighting its dad. Yeah. Which maybe Maybe makes the whole thing like animatronics. Name a human you think looks like a kangaroo. Uh, there's a pitcher. Um, Crowley? Zach, just side by side. Crowley and, and a roo. That's the, almost a breakdown now to the more sports. Jim, today we're doing the sport of life. An old woman thought to be dead came to life at her funeral, and she has the same name of someone I grew up with, Bella Montoya. Dead or alive? Uh, Both alive. Actually, you didn't read the full article. Bella Montoya died at the end of this. Stop. Yeah, she was alive for like a second. They were placing flowers on her grave. She was in the coffin. They heard some breathing. They stopped the funeral, revived her, brought her back to the hospital, and then she died. No. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah? I don't like being buried alive. Wait, are you sure? No, not sure. Not sure. No, no, not sure. I mean, how about how quick Columbia moves? So they found out in the hospital. Hours later, they threw the funeral and were like, wait, are you free tonight? Let's get this over with. Then she's kicking again. So I can't tell it. I think at the end, they're just giving a recap of how everything happened. I think she's still alive. Huh? Aha. Both. Now I'm iffy on the sun to find out your mom dies and throw a whole funeral in an hour. Get her in a casket in an hour? Quick. That's quick. The whole thing feels a little quick to me. I think this was a test. Same day? I mean, I know different cultures do stuff. (laughs) I know different cultures do stuff differently, but you got to give people some time. Something smells fishy, and I don't know what. Jim... This not sport you're telling me about because you went to the show. Not sports is interesting. Taylor Swift fans report amnesia. I wonder if people bought their tickets off SeatGeek. They probably did. Their tickets were very expensive for the show, but they probably, if they use SeatGeek, they probably could find a good deal. After three hours and over 40 songs later, you get home and realize you can't remember a thing. 
Many Taylor Swift fans are claiming to suffer from post-concert amnesia. You just weren't inputting, dummies. You were filming it. You were enjoying. And you were singing along with it. You were in the it. moment. You know, or the people that sat in the corner and listened, right. they have a great memory. If but if you, you sang sat with down, it, you were the did, show. Did you drink? You know who also doesn't remember a second of the show? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. She has no memory. She doesn't care about any of you. Ooh, I take the back ooh, part. Ooh. I take the back part black. You... I think she cares about him. This is just my life. Yeah. Because I'm a natural born entertainer, that I'm constantly focusing on that, that I don't input a thing. You haven't listened a day in your life. Nah, that I couldn't hear. Bad hearing, too. Bad hearing, too. That's part of the it's problem. Getting worse. Get your ears cleaned. Okay. You should try it. Let's do that as content. I'll yeah, there do might it. be, you probably got rocks in there. Definitely. I love getting my ears cleaned. <laughs> I got one water gun through both my ears. <laughs> That stinks, Zach. Yeah, like I like I like getting my ears clean. But use the first one. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of last week that we give out this week. This week, it's uh, you know, it's a results driven award. I think you're right because he also did something Friday too that was great. What did he do Friday? He got caught in the rain. Oh. If you like just in panic. Getting caught in the rain. He also lasted the longest in Gong, Gong Ball, Ball. So congrats to him. I don't know if we have footage of him playing. It was wild. You have footage of me getting uh, Kev's Gong. Oh. And throw that in there. Hello. Yeah, well, no, we're done. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Seat Geek. If you don't know what Seat Geek is, you're stupid. Their ticketing app makes buying tickets super simple. Over 28 million downloads and the number one rated ticketing app. There's more than 70,000 events every single day on Seat Geek. Why don't you live a little and go to one? Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and Seat Geek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event. With swaps, we've got the hookup. Use code DUMB for $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. $20 off your first purchase with the promo code DUMB. Click the link in the description to download the app. Zach got ducked. Oh, you guys both got ducked. So I'm saying I hold the record. No. It's where Penix kind of controversial. Oh, super controversial. Because he was like kind of sitting highly illegal. Well, and I have the highest score ever. No, Maddie does. Oh, yeah, you got to 20. <laughs> Oh, but you were just facing me. That's different. You have to face off-speed and full-speed. Don't put that in. Maybe right at the end. Put his Mona Lisa Vito on loop.